September 8th, 2023. Morocco. This is the date that the final war of good and evil began. Mom, if you're new to my station, I am the Hebrew widow. The Hebrew Rose of Jericho coming at you with some judgment news. To all of my sisters and my brothers out there of the Star Siege United, allies and friends, I send you infinite love and light, and I receive yours. Ooh, I salute y'all too, because this has been a very magical mission. You had to have understood, resonated in your soul, that all of this magic is real. So, it was very magical when Mother disclosed to us on this date. See that tail fin? Yeah, we're gonna go to the end of that. And he is almost 700 miles. Now feet, y'all. This fish is almost 700 miles, okay? I shouldn't have said fish. I should have kept saying Leviathan because I don't want to get nobody confused. Okay, this is, this, this, Leviathan is almost 700 miles. Now, let's me- measure that old dragon. That old dragon, honey, put his mouth, look at his mouth wide open. Evil face, okay? So, we're going to take a measurement of him of his neck. Look, that's that's over 110 miles. Now let's go back this way. So I added a point. Let's go down his spine. Down his spine. Let me back it up. Let's back it up. Cause it goes up. See his legs are right here. See his legs? Yeah, and this is his tail. So we talking about a thousand miles, approximately. A thousand miles. That's how huge this dragon is. That old serpent. So the Most High manifested them. Bohemoth and Leviathan. Uh, on this earth. Yeah. And that represents the great war of good and evil. And that's all I can tell you. Now I had another great sign. It's like a confirmation. A confirmation. Actually... When I saw this sign, the first thing came to my mind. When I saw Morocco, you know, I, I saw this event first. And then a couple of days later, or maybe the same day, Morocco got hit with that earthquake. Okay, so Sister Tammy, yeah, Sister Tammy Stewart, yeah, who has the magic of decoding. Yeah, this one right here, I'm sure that you will get a great decode out of what you're seeing right before your very eyes. Okay, so this happened at a gender reveal. A gender reveal, so there was a baby on the way. And as soon as that airplane was about to drop his announcement, as he was dropping the announcement, it looks like an angel took hold of the wings of that airplane. And it went down. I see old Bab there. I see old baby there. It happened so quickly until there there were those screaming with, you know, excitement that the baby was a girl. And then others saw the wings of their, at that airplane get ripped up and the plane going down and they're screaming. You can't even distinguish the difference. It happened so quickly. But anyway, I know you magicians out there where your third eye is open and you can see the most magical things you look at that video and share your decode as well okay so mother said that what happened is that bohemoth that old dragon received his mortal wound okay so let's look at the the, the at bohemoth again let's review bohemoth 
a huge or monstrous creature, behemoth, like the brontosaurus. Something enormous, especially a big and powerful organization. And Mother said that when Morocco got hit, yeah, that was the, that the Bohemians and Leviathan represented good and evil, and that represented that that great war, this final war we're in. This is the final battle. What's happening over there in Israel? Okay, so now, soon as Morocco got got hit, bam, the host of the Most High went on pause, and then bam, this happened. Okay, so I got a video taken down. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, this is why I got suspended because Mother told us that we had to destroy the illusion. And uh, Hashitan's magic has everything to do with his word, magic, energy, and his illusion. So now everybody in the world know that this was like a real trick. If they don't see it by now, we know Star CG 99. This was a big trick. Now, this was a big illusion, but it was half lie and half truth. Now we know that China informed the fake 12 tribe of Israelis over there that on October 7, 2023, that Hamas yeah, was going to invade. So they knew that they were going to invade. And we, see, we, we saw how they invaded on their motorcycles and trucks and little jeeps and shit. Yeah, they didn't come with any tanks or any flamethrowers or missiles and rockets. They were on motorcycles, some of them, two or three uh, deep on a motorcycle with with guns, okay. And so they got a hold of a bulldozer and they start putting holes in the wall. And I remember on that video that they took down. I don't have it either, but on that video I do remember those holes in the walls. Uh, you know, in the fence that that was the mortal wound. Okay, so now the piece of the puzzle is coming together. Because now we know that that was the mortal wound. That was the dragon's mortal wound. That is where this whole war, the final war of good and evil began. In this 3D dimension. And it has everything to do with Bohemoth and Leviathan. Good versus evil. And I told you, Star Seed United, that we have been assigned to mirror the 5D. From this 3D, we're mirroring what's happening in the 5D. That's why we've been assigned such a great mission. Yeah. So now with that great uh, deception, distraction, deceptions, lies, even, you know, I showed you the concert, you know, the ones that did get shot, got shot by Israelis, not Hamas. You didn't see, hear any gunfire when they started running. And I told y'all they were military age people at that concert. It was all an illusion. Yeah. So they knew, Sister Tammy, you might want to look into that date, October 7th, 2023. Yeah. So that is what's happening right now. So now that old dragon is about to go down, y'all. Old Bohemian and his systems and his tricks are about to go down. Okay, so now we know that Doug Imhoff, this all started with Hebrews to Negroes, okay? That was a wave of our intellectual awakening where many, many realized that they too were from the true 12 tribes 
of Israel, the people of the book, the Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. And some even from the tribe of, of Judah. Yeah. And this was a big threat to Hashatan. And so they start trying to pump energy into that word anti-Semitism, which we destroyed from this 3D mirroring what was happening in the, in the 5D talking to the most high in that most holy place called the courts of the most high where he bowed the heavens to hear us and he set us on heavenly thrones yeah that were appointed to the tribe of David yeah honey let me tell you, we destroyed that word that they were trying to pull off like the Balfour Declaration. We destroyed it. We destroyed it. So now, I must talk about the Great Test. Because this war, you know how it's being won, y'all? You know how the Israelis are losing? Because I told y'all that Hashitan needed energy. All wars need energy. That's why they be trying to trick people and, and calling people terrorists and, you know, trying to get that fear factor going in their heads where they'll let them do anything, anything to protect them. That big old trick. Well, it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. The, the, the deception is over. And so now, even Babylon, oh, Babylon, all of you sitting on those power seats yeah, that are the puppets of Hashitan by way of APAC and the ADL, all of you will be removed from the power seat that you're now occupying. You will be judged very shortly. Yeah, very shortly. And we see Star Seed United where all of that has been exposed about APAC and the ADL and how they do control our government. Yeah, they have been calling the shots and they have all their puppets that were made known when they had that vote in Congress concerning the ceasefire and only one soul when he was a white man. Only one of them? voted for the ceasefire and everybody else there voted against the ceasefire and that's when APAC got exposed. The ADL was already exposed when they went to the White House. Yeah. And that's why Doug Imhoff said words matter. They're saying the quiet things out loud. Oh my goodness, because they know that our words with our purified energy are going to the courts of the Most High and the universe responding and the Most High bringing judgment and justice have been 100 undeniable magic. Oh my goodness, y'all. We are about to Okay, now this this article came out yesterday where the scientists said that that earthquake that happened on September 8th in Morocco had an unusual deep slip according to new model. Okay, now they're trying to explain what happened with this earthquake when that old dragon received his mortal wound. They can't understand that kind of magic. They kind of can't understand it. Told y'all. I told y'all what it is. And I know who did it too. So now, you know, y'all can listen to Dr. Kaku if you want to. When they be bringing forth those lies. 
Now, this report comes not from Hollywood. It comes from reputable scientists at Beijing University that analyze echoes. When an earthquake takes place, shock waves go reverberating around the inside of the Earth. And by analyzing these echoes with computers, you can recreate a model of the inside of the Earth. And sure enough, the core seems to be about to spin backwards. Okay, so this is a great piece of the puzzle. This video right here is a great piece of the puzzle. Okay, first of all, we know that the Earth does not have a core. We know that there's worlds without ends and different dimensions underneath our feet inside of Gaia. They said in their interpretation, in their science, what they said happened was the core of the Earth stopped spinning and was about to start spinning backwards. Mother told us what that meant was that the Great Reset had begun. Okay, but I read that this happens every 70 years. Okay, so I'm going to take that every 70 years is every 7,000 years, okay? So in this article from Science Alert, something weird happened to men 7,000 years ago, and we finally know why. Around 7,000 years ago, all the way back in the Neolithic, something really peculiar happened to human genetic diversity. It goes on in this article to talk about the chromosomes, talking about genes, and it's talking about different clans of this earth. Now, 7,000 years ago, something happened. It was a reset of the existing clans. And now 7,000 years later, there, we are in another great reset. So 7,000 years ago, there was cultural change in political and social organization. 7,000 years later, we're in another great reset where there will be cultural changes in political and social organization. Now all of this is magical. So the Most High created a reset 7,000 years ago. Okay. And now he's doing another magical spell over this earth. And it has everything to do with genetics, the clans of this earth, and starseed. 7,000 years ago, in the last reset, there was cultural changes in political and social organization. In this great reset, there are cultural changes in political and social organization. And it has everything to do with the magical genes of starseed. that they say there's variations yet to be discovered. That's talking about our DNA. Yeah, and it has been uh, discovered. It's in books. It's in the Zephyr Yitzra. Uh, it's in the Zephyr Yitzra that we have the same DNA as our big brother Messiah. We have the, our DNA includes the father creator, the master of the day of judgment, Allah, and the mother, the Holy Spirit. Marihala, which will be governing in this great reset. I'm talking about Judah will rule with our Messiah and the present status quo will be reset into nothingness. That's what's going to happen at the end of this great war. United Nations on Tuesday voted to back a resolution that demanded an immediate humanitarian ceasefire in Gaza, coming as U.S. President Joe Biden warned that Israel was losing international support in light of Palestinian civilian casualties. In the name of humanity, I ask you all once again, stop this violence now. 
After dire warnings by UN officials about a growing humanitarian crisis in Gaza, more than three quarters of the 193 member UN General Assembly backed the resolution. The US and Israel voted against the measure, along with eight other countries. Ceasefire means one thing and one thing only ensuring the, su the survival of Hamas. The resolution is not binding, but it carries political weight, reflecting a global view on the war. A similar vote was held in the 15-member UN Security Council last week and vetoed by the United States. The Palestinian Authority welcomed the resolution and urged countries to pressure Israel to adopt the ceasefire as fighting between Israel and Hamas intensified across Gaza on Tuesday. The president said Israeli shelling in the south was some of the heaviest in days, despite its forces earlier ordering people to flee there for safety. There are growing signs Israel is becoming diplomatically isolated over its conduct of war. Biden told a campaign donor event early on Tuesday that most of the world still backs Israel. Told a campaign donor event early on Tuesday that most of the world still backs Israel. The whole world has awakened to how the present status quo has been running this earth for the past 7,000 years. Okay, now they've been found out because you have Joe Biden here lying his ass off saying most of the world have Israel's back. And now you're looking at the vote right here where most of the world, at least those countries that's involved in the UN, voted for a ceasefire. He was the one that vetoed it. And look at the count of the vote when they took a vote, you know. And so the present status quo has Joe Biden's. They have uh, Satan Yahoo's. And they have Serpent Seed that have made the decisions concerning the governance of this 3D dimension. They're liars. They work for Hashatan, and that's why the UN, even the UN, look at what happened right here at the UN. Look at look at what happened right here at the UN. Look who's sitting on the power seats voting for a ceasefire. Has there been a ceasefire? No, only a humanitarian pause, quote unquote. And mother told us early on, even at the UN, they're talking a whole lot of uh, words with no actions and mother told us early on that you can have undisputable or indisputable excuse me evidence of a crime like what's going on in Israel you have overwhelming evidence that this is a genocide going on over here in this present world war Yet, Serpent Seed will listen to you. They will even talk the same language that you're talking. They will even vote in the same way that they are talking. Yet, there will be no action. And the beat goes on. That's why this present, this present status quo of, of governance of the earth must be changed seems to be about to spin backwards. Okay, but I read that this happens every 70 years, so we don't need to be alarmed? That's right. The bad news is that we know very little about the core of the Earth, very little about what's underneath our feet. The good news is probably there's nothing to worry about. Well, now we know Dr. Cock who got that very wrong. It was a lot to worry about. We experienced some unprecedented alarming catastrophes of judgment to hit this earth all the way up until that earthquake in Morocco and the host of the Most High took a pause because the Most High put a magical spell on humanity. And what do I mean by that? Do you see the energy, the worldwide energy of the population of the planet. This was a great test 
for humanity, we have been through several tests that Mother pointed in out to us. If you needed my station, you might have so some catching sure. up to do. This the, stuff started uh, maybe the, about eight or nine months ago where we start to... going to Judgment News <laughs> and visiting the courts of the Most High. What I see happening right here is people taking their energy to the streets. And this is what's helping the energy of the earth under this magical awakening with anyone that had a molecule of empathy within them. That empathy was increased and they couldn't sit by in indifference concerning this war. The Most High also made a clear distinction of good and evil. After these judgments that happened last summer with the heat dome and every other catastrophe that hit, earthquakes, water judgments, fire judgments, that had the UN in an alarm mode, because that's what they were talking about before this world hit. Like, what are we going to do? They start talking about global warming, the climate, and all of that. The UN general said uh, the earth was boiling. We went into an era where the earth is boiling. And then all of a sudden it just stopped when this war began. Because the Most High put a spell on humanity. Held the heavenly host on pause while this is being processed to give humanity a chance, a clear chance, an informed chance like we asked him to, to make so that they can make a clear decision because we're entering into a whole nother phase. We're going through a great reset 7,000 years after the first reset where the present status quo has ran this earth with the same methods, violence and war, power seats, violence, because Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But now the Most High is raising up a righteous kingdom that will be recognized shortly. We know who we are. We know who, where our, who our kingdom, we, we know about our kingdom of love and light. We know what the members of the, 14, the 144,000, the Hebrew Israelites, we know what we look like. Yeah, we know who we are. We're not in an identity crisis anymore. And this present status quo is about to be reset. And you will be receiving your thrones, whether it be judgment whether you're a CEO of a corporation, whether you, uh, you govern the agriculture of certain continents, I don't know. I just know that there is going to be 144,000 elite judges, kings and queens, princes and princesses. This old present status quo will phase out and we will be ruling the world with righteousness and dignity. And our allegiance will be to our Messiah, the King and God of this earth. All praises to the Most High. Wow, you guys. Whew. I started this one this morning at 444, Sister Janie Truesdale. Yes, had my cup of coffee and look at the downloads that came. Okay, you guys, uh, if you resonate with this message and you're new to my station, feel free to subscribe. These messages are timeless. We have for the last nine months went to the courts of the Most High where we have taken our energy together. In this place, the Father has bowed the heavens and He has heard us. And by our testimonies, the universe has reacted. All praises to the Most High. Oh, congratulations, all you Star Seed United allies and friends that joined your energy with mine. Oh, can you feel it coming? I can feel it coming. 
I can feel it coming. It's coming so quickly because now Israel is losing the war. They're shooting each other up. <laughs> They've lost so many allies and the United States want to back up. They want to back out. Yeah. But they're in too deep. <laughs> And so at the end of this great war, mother downloaded to me that at the end of this war, when it started dwindling, when it started dwindling down, the host of the Most High will be reactivated <clears throat> and we're going to go to judgments on a whole nother level and all low vibers on this earth will be perishing in these next judgments. Everyone that is high vibing, that have empathy, they will survive. Our rulership is going to be so happy. It's going to be so joyous. This whole earth's vibration is going to change. Gaia will be healed. Oh my goodness. All praises to the Most High. This present status quo will be deleted. Yeah. And all of us will be put in our places to govern this world. And that was part of the Tibetan prophecy coming from our Messiah that said when the spiritual governances of the planet are balanced, there will be a great reset. And that will be huge and beautiful for us. All praises to the Father. All praises to the Father for all of his magical works. And we adore you, Mother, above all, just like our Father. And we thank you for all of this wisdom that you have imparted unto us in this great war. We pledge our allegiance to our big brother, Messiah, the King and God of this earth. Okay, you guys, that's what I have for you today. May you have the best day of your life. I hope you glean some power and energy. And I hope that you receive some excitement for just seeing this great reset coming. Yes, all praises. Okay, you guys, I love you. Starseed, we got next. Abracadabra. so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share all of this good news doesn't it feel good to fight back yes we are very victorious thank you so much for your support of this station and all of your kind gifts of love they're much appreciated yes and may the most high bless you 100 fold for whatever your hearts desire abracadabra okay you guys until the next judgment news your big sister the hebrew widow the hebrew rose and jericho out shalom